friends of Native American art know Sally Black as one of the greatest living Navajo basket weavers. In fact, her work is displayed at museums and galleries all around the Southwest. But she is not weaving tonight. She's grieving a sudden and devastating loss. Fox 13's Max Roth spoke with her about the day tragedy came to her home on the reservation. Sally Black grew up near Mexican Hat. She lives in Monument Valley on the Utah-Arizona border. But on November 3rd, she was with her brother in Farmington, New Mexico. She had an appointment to deliver a basket to a client, and then she planned to run errands when she got a phone call. And the first thing I heard was, Sally, your trailer's on fire. Hmm. And I said, what? And I, your trailer is on fire. And I said, what? I said, oh my gosh. I said, his name was Ryan. I said, he was the one that was home. Is he outside? And then they said, nobody's outside. The drive back was about 100 miles of worry. And when she arrived, her boyfriend, Ryan Thompson's mother, was there. And they just told me that my son didn't make it. He died in the fire. And I said, oh my gosh. And when I got there, that's when the hearse came in and took the body. I just looked at it and, you know, it was just something that happened. I didn't even expect anything that happened. Ryan was a mechanic, a handyman, the guy who showed up to help fix something or build something. Helping other people. That's the kind of guy that he was. He was a humble counterbalance to his famous girlfriend. Sally Black is practically royalty in Native art circles. The National Endowment for the Arts credits her mother, Mary Holiday Black, with reviving the art of Navajo weaving. And young Sally took her mother's innovations and added her own. And then we just wanted something different because we've been weaving the same old thing, same old thing. Vivid colors in intricate patterns. They were featured in the first temporary exhibition at the Utah Museum of Natural History. Her baskets can go for thousands of dollars at auction. It's a good thing because along with skill, her art takes time and hard work. I use sumac. I go to Green River in Hanksville to cut, and I have people to help me to cut that sumac. She splits the sumac, dries part of it, dyes it in different colors. It takes most of the year to prepare material for a winter of weaving. So when she stood outside the wreckage of her home, the losses multiplied. And I said, oh my gosh, I lost everything that I have. All my work, all the things that I have, I lost. And... I just wipe my tears and look at the trailer. And I just took a deep breath. And I said, well, what can I do? It happened. Everything just happened just all at once. They don't know the cause of the fire. Sally's sister, Agnes, has set up a GoFundMe that we'll link you to from fox13now.com. Sally weaves her baskets, she says, for wedding ceremonies and for healing. She needs to rebuild so she can do some healing of her own. In the newsroom, Max Roth, Fox 13 News, Utah.